Hi Scorpio, welcome to your November monthly tarot reading with me. This is Brooke and welcome back to Nightbird Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me Scorpio and happy birthday to Scorpio. We're in the season of Scorpio right now so happy birthday to all my Scorpios who are watching. Hope you have a great beautiful blessed birthday this month and Scorpio please watch for your sun your rising your moon sign in this video if you're unsure about your rising sign or your moon sign I have included an astrology generator in the description box which will take you to a website uh, that will help you calculate that so I've already pre-shuffled Scorpio so let's jump right in and see what's in store for you for the month of November. What's on the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. Very much about family, finance, financial stability in the family unit. This could also indicate family business. This also could indicate family legacy of some kind. Some sort of completion when it comes to finances for Scorpio in November. Very much about money, very much about family, and very notable about legacy when the Ten of Pentacles is, appears as well. So the Ten of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck for Scorpio. The theme, we come in for the month of November with the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a great indicator of some sort of regret emotionally or perhaps some form of regret or disappointment emotionally as well. There's something that perhaps has occurred or gone wrong going into the month of November. For many of those that are watching, this could be coming from someone else to you or Scorpio yourselves are feeling regretful or there could have been a, a betrayal of some kind, not just in romantic relationships. This could be on different levels as it applies on your life path, Scorpio. There's some sort of sadness that is coming into the month of November. This is some sort of regret over past actions, okay? But something is left over emotionally for Scorpio. This is not like a final ending. This could indicate short-term breakups. This could be past regret over actions of perhaps uh, separation of leaving a job too soon or walking out of a relationship regrettably too soon or something going on in the family dynamic. Something that's hitting Scorpio strong within the heart energy, within your heart chakra. Something that's very much, you feel it. There's a pierceness that is occurring for Scorpio. But once again, something's left over with the Five of Cups. Something's left over to work on. Something's still left there for Scorpio in terms of a challenge of making a commitment once again, okay, to whatever or however that can apply for Scorpio. Coming out of the most recent past, we have strength. So strength comes in. Strength's uh, also ruled by the astrology sign of Leo. Now, I don't read the card as, it must be a Leo. <laughs> it's a Leo. I don't read the cards like that. The archetype is Leo. And Leo's archetype or attributes is very much about passion, loyalty, faith. Okay? And strength is very much about that. Drawing upon your inner resources. Drawing upon your inner strength. Having strength come out of places that perhaps emotionally or mentally you didn't realize we're there, like your backup resource of strength. This also could be from emotional support from other people as well. So strength has shown up, major arcana strength. So this has, very, has been very much some sort of major event for Scorpio coming out of the most recent weeks going into the month of November. Where something has occurred that has really put Scorpio on notice to pull up your bootstraps again, okay? Put on your big girl panties, Scorpio. Put on that red lipstick and get out the door. Something has 
put Scorpio on notice of some kind. The present energy is another major arcana, the lovers. This could have something to do with relationships. This also could have something to do with the crossroads. When I see the lovers come up, it doesn't necessarily mean a love triangle for me. It's very much about a crossroads or a choice. And most of the time, it is something to do with a choice in love. There could have been regrettable past actions or wrongdoings towards another person, and you regret the words you said, you regret the actions you, you took, you regret some things that may be coming to the surface this month for Scorpio in the month of November that has put Scorpio on notice of some kind. And in some readings, and I'm not done with the reading yet, it can indicate a love triangle or third-party situations. But this also could be a choice, a choice between love, a choice between career, okay, having to perhaps sacrifice the relationship to go into the direction of career or vice versa. So there's a careful examination this month of choices for Scorpio and making a thoughtful decision. We're perhaps coming out of the past, the theme for November is regretful choices, regretful actions that have taken place. The challenge here, we have another major arcana. This is a major month, Scorpio, for your birthday month, is judgment. Judgment is very much in tune with a phase. Indicated by the Archangel Gabriel who comes down from the heavens and puts everyone on notice and is spreading the message of this too shall pass. You're entering into a new period, Scorpio. There's a new phase. There's an awakening with judgment as well. Judgment is very, about, very much about an awakening period. The phoenix rising out of its ashes, an awakening, a phase has ended, a new phase is beginning. It's in the challenge position. Scorpio, you may not want to start this yet. You may not be ready for this yet, but something is being called to Scorpio that perhaps this is the month where it's time. Okay, it could be a time of realization for many who are watching of, of what you've been doing and, and how you've created your circumstances and how you can create the future for yourselves and what is awaiting you. And this also could be self-betrayal for Scorpio as well. Self-betrayal. Confronting yourself about a choice or regret or past action for Scorpio. So this is the end of a chapter. There goes a kitty. There, this is the end of a chapter. A new phase is beginning. So it's a rebirth period and it's in your challenge position, Scorpio. Many of you may not be ready for that. Many of you may be ready for that. The potential outcome, we have the King of Swords. So when a court card is in a potential outcome, it very much plays upon this person's actions. The events are going to really rely on this King of Swords. This could be a potential air sign male, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be female. His attributes are very much about diplomacy, strategy. Very much needs to be achieved this month, Scorpio. You need to be a strategist in your own life. The map of your life. What does it look like? How, you want to, how do you want to create it? What does the map of your life look like right now? Are you happy with the map of your life? Is it going into the direction that you want it to go in? Is that relationship going into the direction that you want, want it to go in? So this may be a period of re-strategizing that map of your life. And I'm going to put that in the byline of the title of your reading. 
map of your life. This could be an actual person for many who is making major decisions for you. And they say if, and I don't know who has said this or where it came from, life will make decisions for you if you decide not to make choices or decisions for yourself. Life will just carry you down that stream, however shallow it is, however deep it is, however rocky it is, however uh, full of rapids that it has, how many twists and turns that it has, life will keep leading you down. And oftentimes, if you're not capable of making decisions for yourself, someone is going to come along and do it for you. So this may be a particular person, husband, brother, boss, uncle, okay, it doesn't have to be male. His attributes can very much be female. And then we have the Seven of Cups. There's some form of fantasy going on. Scorpio doesn't seem to kind of understand where they want to go. There's all these choices, all these fantasy, imagination station running through your minds for many of those that are watching of, ooh, I want to try this, and I want to try this, and I want to try this, and I want to go here, and I want to live here, and I want this, and I want that. You can't really pinpoint it. There's a lot of fantasy going on, a, a big fantasy life happening for Scorpio. And it could be revolving around a relationship. It could be revolving around many potentials. But the realism, you need to get realistic with yourself about what is really happening and understanding that a phase is trying to phase itself out. And then we have the Ten of Swords comes in. So a definite final ending for Scorpio, realizing that perhaps, look at that. She is crazy. That's Saint Maria. <laughs> There's little baby Saint Maria. Um, realizing that perhaps something that was a disappointment or a betrayal has ended. It's over. And, and call a spade a spade. Call it for what it is. Call it for what it is. And then we have the chariot, Major Arcana. So, being in control, courage, feeling driven, courageous action. So Scorpios, many of you are going to be able to re-steer yourselves this month into a new direction or into a new phase. There may be a pathway opening up for many of you where you're going to have the capabilities to do that for yourself this month if you choose to do so. And I think St. Maria has made an appearance to justify that to Scorpio. Because it is Scorpio's birthday month. So with the chariot, very much about overcoming obstacles, overcoming challenges. And it's a great card of determination and drive and succeeding. And I'm going to stop there for Scorpio. So whatever regret. Whatever betrayal, whatever disappointment, something is still left over to work on. You've really had to dive into the deep well of strength and emotional resources, Scorpio. Or you've drawn upon that from other people, other people's wisdom as well. And there could be potential choice involved, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in your career path, whether it's just in your life path in general. And to not ignore the signs of a new phase, to not ignore or try to stop or try to pause or try to halt this new direction wanting to come in that's trying to lead you through that rite of passage. And there could be an actual person that plays into events for Scorpio this month. So Scorpio, I wish you the best for the month of November. Happy birthday. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website in the link below. And St. Maria says, Happy Birthday, Scorpio. So have a very blessed month. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.